Right friends, welcome back to New Set a Glance. This is the third week from 18th January to 24th January. Look at the first one. Esutaro Koide, world's oldest man, died at the age of 112 and he belongs to Japan. China posted the slowest economic growth in 25 years, that is 6.9% and during 2016 it is expected to grow at 6.3% and during 2017 it is expected to grow at 6% and China's slowdown has had its own effects across the world, right? Prime Minister inaugurated the Sikkim Organic Festival at Apex Garden, Saramsa in East Sikkim. And please don't forget, the Prime Minister visited Sikkim and Assam. He led Foundation Stone for Tribal IT at Gauhati. And at the same time, please don't forget, the first organic state in our country is Sikkim. Without using chemical fertilizers and pesticides, crops are grown. That is the meaning of organic state. So, Sikkim is declared as the first organic state in the country. Please don't forget. Militants attacked Bacha Khan University in Charsatha, that is 50 kilometers from Peshawar in Pakistan, which killed more than 20 people. Unfortunate incidents are taking place in Pakistan. Look into the next one. As per the update of World Economic Outlook, here one pertinent point is the World Economic Outlook is released by International Monetary Fund and World Development Report and Ease of Doing Business Index are reported by World Bank. Let me tell you once again, World Economic Outlook is released by International Monetary Fund and World Development Report and Ease of Doing Business Index are released by the World Bank. And as per the World Economic Outlook by International Monetary Fund, India is expected to grow at 7.3% in 2015-16 and 7.5% in 2016-17. And if you compare it with China's growth rate, China is expected to grow at 6.3% in 2016 and 6% in 2017. And please don't forget, just now we have discussed China has grown at 6.9% in 2015 and world's GDP growth will be 3.4% in 2016 and 3.6% in 2017. These figures may change as and when some of the world multilateral organizations release certain figures. But here I would like to tell you some pertinent points that is which organization releases world economic outlook and second important point is India is growing faster than China. So, these things I want to convey through this point. SVS Yoga Medical College Villupuram, Tamil Nadu is in the news recently when three girl students committed suicide. Tourists visiting India on e-visas will get instant mobile connectivity through issue of domestic SIM cards. Whoever the tourist coming to India on e-visas, Government of India has given facility for several countries to come to India on e-tourist visa and the foreigners, whoever are coming to India on e-tourist visas will be issued domestic SIM cards as and when they land into this country that solves the problem of getting domestic SIM card, right? Glenn Frey, who co-founded the Eagles, passed away at the age of 67 and his solo bits include The Heat Is On and The Smugglers Blues. National Food Security Act 2013 is yet to be implemented by several states and remember this National Food Security Act 2013 will be implemented by all the states by 1st April 2016 except Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu will implement by somewhere around mid of 2016 and at the same time please don't forget this food subsidy is being transferred through direct cash subsidy. That means direct benefit transfer is being implemented for food subsidy on pilot basis in two union territories that is the Puducherry and Chandigarh. This is very important point. In future, this will act as an experimental platform for transferring food subsidy 
through direct benefit transfers and as a pilot project government implemented in two union territories that is the pondicherry and chandigarh that means instead of food grains we will get direct subsidy into our bank accounts and this is being implemented in pondicherry and chandigarh and dadra and nagar haveli is in readiness for implementation of cash transfer scheme for food subsidy and please don't forget 97% of the ration cards are digitized across the country which will eliminate duplication and fraud look into the next one global temperatures in 2015 were the warmest on record previously 2014 was the warmest 2015 broke the record of 2014 and 2015 was warmer by 0.75 degree centigrade in comparison to long term average of 30 years between 1961 and 1990 in comparison to the long term average of 30 years 2015 was warmer by 0.75 degree centigrade and this is higher by 0.13 degree centigrade in comparison to 2014 and these record temperatures of 2014 and 2015 are due to el nino and human induced warming we are releasing lot of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere so one reason is el nino the second one is greenhouse gases being emitted due to human activity across the globe so please don't forget 2015 is the warmest year on record legendary classical dancer mrinalini sarabhai passed away at the age of 97 I would like to tell few things she is a proficient in bharatanatyam that is bharatanatyam is of tamil nadu origin kathakali and mohiniattam these two are of kerala origin and she is a proficient in bharatanatyam kathakali and mohiniattam and she studied at shantiniketan established by rabindranath tagore in the present day west bengal and she established darpana academy of performing arts in ahmedabad she was the widow of noted space scientist vikram sarabhai and she was the mother of social activist mallika sarabhai so these are the issues or these are the points related to famous classical dancer mrinalini sarabhai who passed away recently BBC and BuzzFeed have uncovered match fixing in tennis it rattled the tennis world and enquiry is going on BBC in association with the BuzzFeed has unearthed several match fixing cases in tennis for the past several years Supreme Court refused to review 2014 ban on jellycatu all of you are well aware jellycatu is bull taming of tamil nadu as per the united states agency for international development or usaid report 97% of the retail transactions in india are cash based there is a need to improve digital transactions in the country so as to reduce black money's impact on the economy 19th national conference on e governance was held at nagpur lot of emphasis is being given on e governance and 19th national conference was held at nagpur shri nitin gadkari was the chief guest and epfo epfo is employees provident fund organization has won national award for e governance during 2015-16 for its universal account number program just like aadhar provident fund account holders have got universal account numbers unique identity number and more than 6 crore uans have been allotted look into the next one rpi made operational central fraud registry with effect from january 20 it is a searchable database whoever have committed fraud their details will be available in this central fraud registry and this will be useful to the banks and they can check it before establishing any relationship with a customer that means before granting any loan they can look at this central fraud registry which is a searchable database 
RBI amended gold monetization scheme of 2015. There are certain changes are made in this scheme. The first and the foremost change is proprietorship firms and partnership firms can participate in this gold monetization scheme. And at the same time, the lock-in period for medium-term gold deposit is three years, and lock-in period for long-term gold deposit is. Five years, and please don't forget this medium-term gold deposit and long-term gold deposit are accepted by banks on behalf of central government. This point, please don't forget. In this case, that means in case of MTGD and LTGD, government of India notified the minimum lock-in periods. Prime Minister led the foundation stone for Triple IT at Guwahati. We have already discussed. Prime Minister visited the two states, Sikkim and Assam. Jaipur Literature Festival was held from January 21 to January 25. Jaipur is the capital city of Rajasthan. During his visit to Varanasi, the Prime Minister gave away electronic devices, artificial limbs, tricycles, braille kits, hearing aids. To nine thousand two hundred and ninety-six Divyangs, and the Prime Minister changed the name of Vikalangs to Divyangs. All of you are well aware. And at Lucknow, the Prime Minister participated in sixth convocation of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University during the Prime Minister's visit to Uttar Pradesh. Fourth India-Africa Hydrocarbon Summit was held in New Delhi. And if you look at uh, India and Africa relations, as far as petroleum products or hydrocarbons is concerned, in Africa, Nigeria is one of our important trade partners in crude oil. Then, ONGC Videsh Limited is already participating in oil blocks in Sudan, eastern part of United States of America, especially New York and its surrounding areas. Were badly hit by mammoth the blizzard. Some places a snowfall was received, ranging up to three feet or up to one meter. And please look into this picture. This is a blizzard, and normal life was badly affected in eastern part of United States of America. Excise Minister K. Babu resigned over bar bribery scandal allegations in Kerala. Previously, Finance Minister K. M. Mani was also resigned over the issue. Government stated that it received 900 kilograms of ideal household and temple gold under gold monetization scheme. The Defence Minister hoisted the largest tricolour in the country atop the tallest pole at the Pahadi Mandir in Ranchi. Please look into this picture. On Pahadi Mandir at Ranchi, the Defence Minister hoisted the largest tricolour flag of 99 feet by 66 feet. And please don't forget the ratio of length to width. Is a three east to two for Indian flag. That's why it is ninety nine feet by sixty six feet and hoisted on two hundred and ninety three feet tall pole, and the flag weighs eighty kg. And until now, Faridabad had the tallest national flag raised at a height of two forty six feet, and now at a height of two ninety three feet, this Pahadi Mandir in Ranchi accounts for the largest tricolour in the country, launched at the highest elevation. Atulesh Jindal was appointed as chairman of Central Board of Direct Access. This is under the Ministry of Finance, and he will replace A K Jain. And please don't forget, C B D T is responsible for collection of various direct taxes like personal income tax, corporation tax, etc. The President Pranab Mukherjee hosted lunch for hundred women achievers in view of the completion of one year of launch of Beti Bachao Beti Padao on 22nd January. All of you are well aware this Beti Bachao Beti Padao was launched on 22nd January 2015 in Haryana in hundred districts of the country, including twelve districts in Haryana. And the basic purpose is to save the girl child, educate the girl child, and to commemorate that one year completion. Hundred women achievers were invited to Rashtrapati Bhavan, and the president hosted the lunch. 
in view of the completion of one year of launch of Beti Bachao and Beti Padao. And the unfortunate part in our country is, as per 2011 census, the child sex ratio of 0 to 6 years group stood at 918 only. That means 918 girls per 1000 boys. It is due to the killing of girl child before birth and maybe after birth. Right friends, look at the next one. RPI said that it will put into circulation new bank notes of rupees 500 and rupees 100 of Mahatma Gandhi series 2005 with enhanced security features like ascending size of numerals, bleed lines and enlarged identification mark on the reverse. Amit Shah was re-elected as the party president of BJP for the second term for a period of three years. Amit Shah took over in 2014 from Rajnath Singh as Rajnath Singh became the Home Minister and now for the second time he was elected for a full term of three years. Center-right politician Marcelo Rebelo de Souza has won the presidential elections in Portugal and Indian origin person elected as the Prime Minister in Portugal, please don't forget. Union cabinet cleared imposition of uh, President's rule in Arunachal Pradesh. Government can impose uh, President's rule in any state under Article 356 of the Constitution, please don't forget. National Investigation Agency and Delhi Police detained 18 people with alleged terror links and sympathies towards the Islamic State. Recently, a crackdown was on the sympathizers of Islamic State was launched across the country and several people were arrested in this connection. Iran and China agreed to expand bilateral ties and increase the trade to $600 billion in the next 10 years. Now, Iran is free, sanctions are lifted and after the sanctions are lifted, various countries are approaching Iran with business proposals and in this connection, European Union is also going to Iran for expanding business ties and China sees the first opportunity of expanding bilateral ties and increasing trade to $600 billion in the next 10 years. And please don't forget, India is constructing Chabahar port in Iran, whereas China is planning to construct Gwadar port in Pakistan. These things please don't forget. The Prime Minister presented national awards for bravery 2015 to 25 children, which include three girls. Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley, Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister N. Chandra Babu Naidu and Reserve Bank of India Governor Raghuram Rajan attended World Economic Forum Summit that is the 46th WEF Summit at Davos in Switzerland. Right friends, with this, let us conclude the news at a glance. Have a nice day. Please do join for other modules. Thank you.